Back now at 530, it's your voice, your future here in the Central Valley with a fight for a slim majority in Congress. Eyes across the nation are on California's 22nd district. Eyewitness News spoke with leading Democrat Rudy Salas about what separates him from the field and if 2024 is his year after coming up short in 2022. A familiar face looking for a new job title in D.C., longtime Central Valley Democrat Rudy Salas is campaigning once again to become a U.S. congressman. And for Salas and his GOP opponents, it's deja vu all over again. Salas sees himself in a rematch of the 2022 primary featuring incumbent David Valadeo and America First Republican Chris Mathis. But this time, there's a new twist. Unlike last time, there's a Democrat in the race as well, uh, State Senator Melissa Hurtado. What separates the two of you uh, this time around? There's big differences between me and, uh, and Ms. Hurtado. You know, we just look at farm workers, for instance, right? I voted to uh, provide farm workers overtime, also gave them the ability to vote by mail. Uh, Ms. Hurtado uh, did not do that. She voted against them against farm workers and I think that's why you see like the United Farm Workers are with me. You see people like Dolores Huerta, a lot of our community organizations are with me. I know someone else who's fought for farm worker protections is uh, Senator Alex Padilla who's also endorsed you right. as has Governor Newsom. Uh, what do those endorsements mean? It means a lot to me because it shows that the hard work that we've been doing out in the community and connecting with people, changing people's lives is making a difference. But ultimately, come November, Salas will likely need to beat a Republican. So where does the Democrat see himself on the big issues hurting Democrats nationwide? Both your uh, Republican opponents are running on you know, a strong uh, border, uh, trying to reduce border crossings and focusing on uh, legal immigration into the country. What are your policies on the border? Yeah, we need immigration reform. You know, when I talk to people, you know, people can handle a yes or a no, but having to wait like 5, 10, 15, 20 years for an answer from the government is just what's driving uh, these problems that we see at the border and, and with immigration. We need immigration reform. I know another issue that it seems that some Democrats maybe want to, you know, part their ways from Joe Biden when it comes to uh, questions on the economy. Is that something where you're seeing the economy strong right now, or are you seeing uh, a room for improvement that you can build upon if you're elected? I think the government needs to work for people. People need to fill it, right? So when we talk about the economy, they need to know that when they go to the grocery store, that they're stretching that dollar as much as they can. That when they go to work, that they're actually earning an income to provide for their families. So that's why you've always seen me focus on those types of issues, whether it's you know, providing, uh, making sure that we have a minimum wage for people to put food on the table so that they're not draining from public services, for instance. Like you see me fighting for those policies. You see me fighting to bring uh, job training into the area. Salas will continue his campaign to take more votes as people hit the polls on March 5th. But for now, reporting in Bakersfield, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News. And to watch our full interview with Salas, head to our website, bakersfieldnow.com.